when you sign up a client, you, you want to think about how you're going to serve that person over the long run. You know, so many people I see, they like get worried, like, can I provide this person value? Is what I'm really doing valuable? Oh, my price is so low. Like when you sign somebody up, tax prep, when you sign somebody up, monthly accounting, like how do you plan to serve that person at a higher level in the second year, the third year? Do you plan on adding tax planning? Do you add on adding CFO services? When I think about, you know, working with a client, typically I'll look at, okay, yeah, like what am I providing them right now and what are they paying? But also I always think about what am I going to be able to do with this person later? And so you can kind of gain confidence in that first sale, that first consultation by knowing that it's going to get better. I mean, I had a guy uh, recently that worked with us and he stopped working with us two years ago, but he came back, started working with us today or uh, last week actually. And, um, you know, said he hadn't had a sale in two years, hadn't got a new client in two years since he stopped working with us. And, you know, what was interesting was when he worked with us last time, this was two years ago, this was before we did our tax planning event. We developed our tax planning materials. This was before we developed our decks. This was before we did our coaching program. Back then we were just doing training and education. And, you know, it's so interesting because I had this sort of epiphany moment where I realized, wow, what we were providing back then compared to what we're providing now is just night and day. I mean, we probably have made a 15 to 17 X improvement in the quality of our products and our experiences in that time period over the last two years. We didn't have our tax planning. We didn't have our CFO. We didn't have wealth management. I mean, we didn't have the coaching program. We didn't have the consistent event cadences that we now do. We didn't have a client success department. And so, you know, a lot of people, when you have a tax firm or an accounting firm, you're just sort of doing the work. You're not just constantly addicted to improving. And I think that's one of the biggest problems I see is, you know, I talked to a guy yesterday, 1.2 million a year in sales. He's not like committed to growth. And, and I'm not talking about growth just in terms of revenue or salary or net profit. I'm talking about growth from the perspective of how do you grow the relationship you have with your clients to constantly look for ways to provide them more value? It's a change in thinking. Like if you just, okay, I have a tax firm, I have an accounting firm. Okay, that's great. Or are you constantly optimizing your life, your business, your team for the value that's provided to the customer? And are you constantly just sniffing? Like, how can I provide them more value? How can I, what specific reports can I give them on an ongoing monthly basis? How can I train my team to be able to have a conversation with a business owner to walk through their financials and understand where they're at and set goals with them on a monthly basis and do that the same or maybe even better than I could? How do I actually get better at saving people money on taxes? How do I learn new strategies? And not only how do I understand it, but how do I get them to actually implement it and achieve like that actual savings in their business? How do I better organize the onboarding process to figure out like how I can shorten the days to the person getting onboarded and receiving the ongoing reports, getting value quickly? How can I change the upsell process? And how can I provide, what specific products might make sense for me to upsell people into other services? Like it, it's that kind of a mentality. How can I get better team members? Like what kind of a business owner do I need to be owning a tax accounting wealth management firm in order to attract great talent? You know, so many times people say, oh, my staff, my staff aren't interesting. Well, you're not interesting. You know, I have a, one of my team members here. He went home for the holidays uh, last year and his uh, spouse, his spouse's whole family had a whole meeting and said, you know, he's, uh, Kyle's not very engaged with the family. Like he's not very interested in everybody else that's here. He's just kind of doing his own thing. So his wife confronts him and says, baby, like everybody here held a meeting and said that you're not that interested in them. And he said, yeah, well maybe that's because they need to be more interesting. Okay. And that's probably the same for you. If you don't have good team members, if you don't have good employees, you're probably not that interesting. Where are you going? Are you talking about like how big your firm is gonna be with potential recruits? Are you telling them you're gonna do 500,000? Are you telling me you're gonna do a million? Are you telling me you're gonna do 5 million in sales? And are you telling them and walking through the specific value that you're providing to clients and how that's getting better and how that's getting more interesting and how you guys are doing it differently than other people? Or is it just a job? Is it, is it just a job where you're gonna pay them to come in and peck the keyboard? I say peck that keyboard like a parakeet, right? You just take it right here, just like this, and you just go. Right? Is that what you're telling them to do? Is that what they think they're signing up for? Because you're not going to get any interesting people doing that. You're not going to get anybody interesting doing that. And so what are you doing that's different? What are you doing that's different? How, how are we actually selling ourselves to potential employees? Or is it just a place to sit in a, in a room with bad wallpaper and, and bang out some tax returns? And so, 
you know, that mentality of constantly improving. And, you know, I don't always see it in myself because, like, I want to have that. I was telling my wife this morning, really, one of the greatest compliments is, like, when one of my clients says, yeah, like, you guys are constantly trying to make it better. Because I, I know that in any moment, like, things could suck or things are suboptimal. Every moment of life, things are suboptimal. But it's more about, it's not important where something is. It's not important where you're providing value to the client right now. It could be low. It could be be doing 1040s, you could be doing monthly accounting. Where you're at right now on the spectrum of the size of your business and revenue, the value you're providing to customers, the quality of your staff, where you're at is not that important. But the direction of where you're going is more important. So the direction of something is more important than where it is. So it just matters like, are the services getting better? Are the fees going up? Is the revenue going up? Like, is the quality of staff going up? Or is it just stagnant? Is it just stale? So if you're interested in, in um, taking another look at working with us, if you haven't, we have done an amazing job. I mean, it was just, you know, I just forget sometimes how much we've changed. A lot of our, yeah, I don't even like to call them competitors because, you know, I just think some of it's such a joke out there. But, you know, some of the other people that people decide to work with instead of us at times, they're just the same. They never change, really. They just do the same stuff. They just kind of... You know, they're just the same for like 10 years. They don't change any of their products. They don't change any of their services. Every six months, I have reinvented this business and we'll continue to do that because every six months I learn new things. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like what we did before was good, but we can make it great if we do this. And so every six months we have changed the game. And over the last six months, we, we switched from doing training and education to doing coaching. We have a 12 month coaching program done an amazing job with it's pretty cool to watch now whenever somebody signs up with us like i'm i'm doing this video today it's wednesday january 15th within three days we will get you set up with a completely new uh sales deck that we have people use like 160 slides we have them for tax planning and cfo services where you take that deck you go out and you present that to a potential client you could do that to friends family network and acquaintances existing clients you can do that to brand new people that will help you get through marketing in about 10 to 14 days after we sign up and we show you how to completely change the way you're presenting the value to the client. So if you're just having a conversation with somebody, whether it's in person or on the phone, if you're just conversing with them, but you're not showing them visually like all the things that they're going to get if they work with you, they're not understanding the value. And they're not understanding the value. And you may not even fully understand the value that you're providing. Sometimes when people come in, we have to change the services they're providing. But a lot of you watching this right now, you're providing enough value. You're just not getting the client to see that value and pay for that value. And that's one of the biggest things we help people do. So if you'd like to see a little bit about what we've changed, what it's like to work with us, there's going to be a link below this video to fill out an application and you'll set up a call. I'll go through and show you one of our decks that we do. So to understand what we do, and it's about 300 slides, it's incredible value, stories of people that we've helped, the specific methodologies that we're using right now that we've developed uh, you know, over the last years, but that we've really upgraded substantially in the last six months. So if you'd like to consider working with us, there's a link below and I will see you on the other side.